Good morning, guys. I can actually say good morning and mean it. It's the AM, and I'm never awake in the AM anymore, so this is exciting. It's about 11.10, the Impala here, and it is dead as a doornail. That's right, that's right. He got here at 11 o'clock sharp, turned the car off, we, I went inside, got some juice, whatever, came back out, tick. Tick, tick, tick. It was all we can do to get those windows up. So it is just chuchified, which is kind of a bad day for that to happen, right? Yeah, so cool. we're going to go to Panera and get some food and then head over to the pool and then we'll come back and jump it. And then hopefully it works from there and we will enjoy ourselves today. Okay, we just had our lunch over there at Panera Bread. And uh, I just finished up my shake. Check this out. It's the Chevrolet Camaro Special Edition. Hot Wheels edition. I saw one of these in Detroit. I think it was in Detroit with Alex. And here's one actually in person in Hudson Acme Plaza. What do you think, bud? I like it. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird. It's a little different. It's got the Hot Wheels call, call outs everywhere. Big wheels. 245 40 ZR21s in the front. Only thing though, there's passenger or driver and passenger seats. It says Hot Wheels in big letters. Looks like a kid's toy. Yeah. Oh, look, it's a white 525 or 530, an Alpine. I've seen that car before. It's not in great shape, but it's a white E39 nonetheless. All right, we're going to the pool. Hello, Alex. We're at your house. This is what your yard looks like, if you want to know. It's very green. It has grown a little bit. It will need to be cut upon your return home. I just watered your flowers on the porch. Everything else is still doing very well from the uh, incredible amounts of rain that we've had. So. Uh, we're going to head out now and go to the pool. It's a test clip on the camera that I'll probably put in tomorrow's video. What's up guys, it's 2.06 in the morning. I'm testing the Kodak. Audio is probably crap, video is probably crap in comparison to the flip, which is over there. But I'm just getting this ready for tomorrow. Maybe we'll take it to the pool. I just finished off, not the entire bag, don't worry. A bunch of Doritos, some orange juice because I couldn't find anything else. I'm watching a vlog from two years ago talking about how bad iOS beta is. Do I look different? You tell me. And I'm talking to Bobby and Cole. So there's my test clip. Hopefully this works at the pool tomorrow. Yep. You're about to find out. Those clips are coming right now if they're here. Pool cam initiated. Here we go, Roz. We got it. And I think it's on. Now usually it freezes after about five minutes. I don't know if it gets wet or what. And then it stays on until the battery dies. But we're going to try it. That's pool here at its finest. Let's go up, up, and then down. Here we are. All right. <laughs> Alright, I think Roz, there's Roz on. You're in and it's still working. Sweet. The microphone's probably full of that should help. I just did the Superman right there. <laughs> I can't even see the screen. We're in 720p though, so it should look decent. Nice. So we want to try that some underwater shots? Sure. All right, we'll go over to the wall. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're still going. You're gonna go down and get good. What are you doing? I'm doing the Superman. See what it looks like when you get in the water. All right, I'll, I'll film underneath. You come in and go straight down though. Face plant, get in, get it, go like, good entry. It's all about the good entry. All right, here's what the view's gonna look like. I cannot see the screen underwater at all, so. I apologize, actually we'll come out here. Beautiful entry. <laughs> He's gonna go in. It's over there somewhere. He's gonna do face plant. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try and get closer. At the top. And here he comes.
<laughs> Hope that worked. Okay, so we're gonna go down face first down the slide. Here we go. Making our way up. There's the slide rules. And here we go. Alright guys, I'm going to chuck you in the pool and then go die for it. Hang on. I got you. I'm gonna go throw you down the slide now. You you go over to the bottom and try to catch it. Right. It'll come down about two seconds after it. Over the bottom. All right, he's gonna go down, and then I'll send it. Hope you guys can hear me. Hope that maybe that's better. But we're gonna chuck it down the slide, and then he's gonna go get it. All right. All right, 83 degrees. We just got out of the pool. Hopefully that footage worked out for you. How was it? It was good. It was great. Yeah, the water was 84 degrees. It was pretty much perfection. However, it's completely clouded over, but it's nice and hot. Um, not too humid, which is good. So we're gonna head over, make a little investment, probably get some dinner, and uh, then let part two of today's three-part series go. And there's a five series. No, not yet. We'll let it charge for about five minutes. Coming up on take two, uh, we'll see see what goes on. His battery things are there on the side. It's kind of weird. I've got mine over here on the positive and in the frame. There it is. Sorry, right, let's disconnect. Okay, this is part three of the day. Or I, no, this is still part two. This is part two. Uh, part three is later. So part two, now we're gonna make it a left here. No, we're going to eight, that's west, my bad. Uh, we are headed down 71 about an hour with Chris, that's his Civic Si up there. Um, we are in the Impala yeah, with buddy. the diverter cap on for now. It will be coming off, trust us. Yep. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a fun afternoon. <laughs> well, we have a, uh, an issue already. It looks like it's the alternator starting it and letting the car run it. It's run a good hour, right? Yeah. Didn't do anything, so now we're using the SI to charge her up. Got the car started with the Civic. Probably a bad battery. A little bit of Weezer, I think that would be. That's where we're going. Coming into the village of Peninsula. How's the Coke? Pepsi. Good news. There goes the SI on our way down. Oh, that's loud. Oh, that's, that's, that's a loud set. Half still? Good. Got a few snacks, stopping to get some money here. This is TA Travel Center. Colt, or Colt and Chase and Andrew and everybody, this is where we stopped to try to meet up with the convoy. I'm not driving, why am I over here? Uh, to meet up with the convoy on the way to Timmy Fest. Um, and that didn't happen because we were too early or too late. Didn't we drive right there? That's right there, that, that truck with the bicycles on top. That's where Andrew backed his M5 in, right? Yeah, we were right here a month ago on the way to Timmy Fest. And now we're going somewhere else. We are now in Friendsville. What's up, bud? Down in the Ohio cornfields now. Oh my god. 
All right, we're almost there. Dragway 42. Welcome to the drag strip, boys. We're behind a Corvette and four Mustangs now. Is that a Laguna Seca up there? Yeah. No, they're GTs with fat rears, too. And this is why the M5 doesn't come here. This is all gravel. And a million of it. Looks like I'm chewing tobacco. It's not. Look. Look at that thing. Come here. Hold on. I'll finish. <laughs> So a million of you are going to take are going to tell me, why don't you take the M5 to the drag strip? Here's why. It's an old car with a lot of miles on it. I don't have to ask it for things to break. It will do that on its own. That's awesome. Dragway 42 near Lodi, Ohio. Chris has his. This is 2011, 12. This? 12, right? 2012, 2012 Civic Si, 2.4 dual overhead cam, cold air intake from k &N. Pretty nice, pretty nice. There's a Boss 302, two Boss 302s, and the good is taken blue and that orange. Getting the Pimpala ready. So you, you pull about a nine second quarter mile, right? Absolutely. Saline Mustang up there, and a Boss 302, and a Z28. Is that a Z28? No, I don't think that one was. Oh, Mazda. AC is All right, guys, we are coming up here. That is the car. Sorry, Roz, I'm gonna in your face. Yeah. I, think we're, I think we're gonna smoke it. I think we got this one in the bag. Oh, yeah. In a bag. This will be fun. We got this one in the bag. <laughs> this will be fun. It's we got the Boss 302 over there. That thing looks pretty nice and orange, I'll be honest. I, that, that I mean, if you like plastic, that's... That's a sharp looking car. Yeah. I'll give that. For, for Ferd. If he misses a gear, we might win. <laughs> what? He did his old burnout. There's my buddy. Windows are all up. People are like, yeah, it's Chevy and Pella. Yeah, big deal. Wait. The Boss 302 oh, took guy. the Mazda, no problem. Do this, do his burnout. <laughs> <laughs> to the side, man. Oh my god. Alright. On green. No, on the first orange. You ready? Not yet, not yet. Wait till his first light goes on. There you go, now. No, 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 no. Let go. Oh, you almost had him. I almost did. <laughs> oh, that second gear. Listen to it. 60. Now. Listen to this guy. Dude, I'll bet your performance is going to be like skyrocketing. All right, you got the 80, quarter mile and 80. Dude, no. I'll, I'll bet you that helped your performance a lot. I can hear that thing screaming. Uh, no, <laughs> no, no, we don't need blinkers here. No, no blinkers. Us, I wouldn't worry about the blinkers. How do you take that the was first fun. one? He, yeah, he took the first one. That thing, that thing was a little quick. Yeah, he must have had good brakes on it, too. I mean, all the Bondo must really help. Oh, that Bondo. Oh, the Rice Honda as well. Looks like we're going to be up against the... Uh, against Chris and his Civic SI, 2012 Civic SI, as far as I know, he only has the uh, can -N intake on it, um, six-speed manual, whereas has got the three on the tree. <laughs> um, so it should be pretty fun. We'll see which one, uh, which one does more better. Not bad. Damn, Honda beat that Mazda. I'll wait for some numbers on there. If that boards you and work, the Mazda may have pulled up. This is Chevy versus Honda right here. Chevy versus Honda. Honda is gonna win. All right. <clears throat> Chevy versus Honda. That's a good picture right there. Second gear. That's second gear.
Apparently somebody locked him up there and took her into the cabbage. <laughs> That'd be bad news. I don't see any fresh accidents here. This this place looks pretty good. And they've got a rescue truck too. Oh, and you take the first one. Yeah, I like taking the first one. Well done. But we let him go because he won. That was our best, 17.4981 quarter mile at 79.5 miles per hour. Reaction time 0.23. Not too bad, not too bad. Chris got uh, 14, 14, right? Or 15. What, what did you say? 15.2? 15.26. 15.26. Oh, Roger, I feel you better. Oh, boy. And let the ricers begin. There they are. Taking a sprint in the SI this time. Feel a little bit more power than the Impala. Against the Challenger, do we know what kind of a year that is? 370. Uh, I think it's in between an 06 and a 10. Charger. It is a Hemi. With a Hemi. Cornfields, look at this. I guess this is what a lot of Ohio is, but I never see it. And quite frankly, I don't mind keeping it that way most of the time. But while we're out here, it is cool to look around and just see country roads. We're uh, now in Medina County, where we were just in Wayne County. It's very interesting. It's a different, different place out here. Little farmhouses, big pastures, and silos. Yeah, they're, they're nice, nice driving roads, I guess. I prefer the Anza Borrego State Desert to this, though. The legit Amish. So this is Burbank, Ohio. Slightly different than Burbank, California. It's really hilly. I think this is considered downtown. Wow. This is an antique shop. That's weird. Yeah, front and middle street. Well, Colt, does that look familiar? I guess you and Resvan got drinks here. <laughs> We're just getting back on 71 now. Cool. Kia Forte with Kentucky plates on it. Uh, the speed limit now on 71 has been raised to 70 miles an hour. When we were down here on our way to Timmy Fest, it was 65. So that happened at the beginning of July, I think. Oh, did they get a Beamer? Yeah, they got a one. Oh no. Okay, it's Friday night. There should be a concert downtown Hudson. There's that old thing we saw last time. That's cool. We'll kill that real quick. And I don't even know who it is tonight. We're gonna have to go back and get the M5 though. This car's been on since we last jumped it several hours ago. Then we'll come back downtown. Sound very good. I don't know who it is. 
We do have a Maserati in town, probably Pasco. No, it's not Pasco unless you got new plates. Clutch report. Guys, check that. Wow. Beautiful sunset here downtown Hudson. I don't know who the band is tonight, but they suck as usual. Uh, we got the M5 out. I actually just put gas in for only my second time since I've been home. Park down there. Um, yeah, that is beautiful though. I like that kind.